We've read about eight novels so far this year. Yeah, so and get, plays. Yeah, and you get a wide range of like, different contextual stuff from the books yeah. you read. It's a course that you've really got to be interested in reading. Yeah. If you're not a reader, you, you don't bother. I really enjoyed <laughs> doing Handmaid's Tale. I yeah, thought, I liked Street Crime yeah. and Desire, which I'm pleased to do. Yeah. The Shakespeare play that we did, Taming of the Shrew, that was really good and we got to watch it at yeah. the Globe. That was amazing. We get a few trips out of it. Yeah, so we, go, we went and watched a lot of plays last year. But it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not, a lot of pressure It's not do. just like a leisure subject. What I've learned the most is all the different theories to do with crime and why people may do crime. And that's what I enjoy about it the most because it gives you an in-depth analysis to why certain people would commit robbery, for example, or murder. Maybe it's for revenge, maybe it's to do with poverty, who knows. Um, some of the criminals we look at are mainly like the Cray twins, I know, because they have like a very unique set of mind. Maybe a bit more in-depth about the subject itself. So. I thought it was to do with like the laws and stuff, but then as I got to know it, I've enjoyed it a lot more. Um, the different way that people think and the approaches to how certain people look at these things and what people's beliefs are. Well, I didn't do any GCSEs related to psychology. I've done history and geography and I still got to do psychology. As long as I got I think, a B in English, I was alright to take it. It makes me want to do a degree in psychology and go into learning a further about how the mind works. Psychopathology is really good because you get to see about phobias, depression, OCD and abnormality. I have to write quite a lot and remember a lot of things. There's three papers, so you've got to be able to organise yourself really well throughout the whole year. Uh, well, there's lots of different topics in business. There's like human resources, like how it's managed, um, what different roles are in business. It's a lot of theory, so there's not much practical. So it can be quite draining, um, especially if you're not um, sort of getting hands on with things, um, so it's a lot of reading and sort of revising all the different keywords and um, topics. So it can be it can be quite quite boring at times, but it's it's worth worth it. Putting it in the right place in your folder or actually printing it off in the first place uh, is a really good idea um, because especially at the end of the year when you're near your exams, you want everything organised in your folder, ready to like revise from. I've learned a lot about myself as to like how much I can handle with work. Um, I've learned I've learned new things that I didn't know before obviously. So you go over the things that you did in GCSE but into a lot more depth. Um, it's not easy but it's interesting. It's a very interesting subject. Like even if someone doesn't like science they will find it interesting because it's different. Maths is probably like not like forty percent of this work, yeah. and I didn't pass my math, so it's been a massive like step up for me. The whole course, really. We do loads of practical work together, where we actually do like devising. Yeah, a lot of it is like our own work as well. The types of plays we study are like comedies. We've looked at a few tragedies. We've looked at like quite dramatic. There is a written exam now and a lot of it is coursework but there's still like a percentage towards practical so you still get to like come up with something, devise your own piece and perform it. You had American Gangster, British Horror and then you've got Films and Institutions and uh, we studied Godfather, Goodfellas. 28 Days Later and The Plague of the Zombies. I didn't take media or film for GCSE, I just did English, but English is like quite a good skill to have because you do all research topics and stuff and 
that helps with your coursework as well. My film was pretty shocking for the first year because I didn't really know what I was doing very well. But after doing it for a while now, I sort of I've developed new skills and stuff, which is quite useful. Well, we did a lot of work on TV dramas and we studied a lot of TV dramas and spoke about like how they portray like racism and sexuality and ethnicity. So we did for our case studies, we learnt about Star Wars and Fantastic Beasts. I would say it's a bit of both. We did a lot of coursework. For our coursework, we made our own film. We also had to keep a blog about our film and like the process of deciding what to do. Definitely stay organised, make sure you take detailed notes because that was something that I struggled with and I realised later on in the course it would have been better if I took those notes. Don't just expect that you're going to be in the cinema watching films because that doesn't happen. Um, this year in textiles um, we've learnt new skills um, and new techniques. Um, and it's very much like being um, self-driven and independent and doing your own things. In textiles you have to choose your own project which is really good um, because it can literally be anything as long as you can get the work out of it. Um, so I started off doing, I was going to do seasons and then I decided to just do autumn because of the colours. Also like you, things you can do at home, like embroidery and beading and I've got a machine at home which makes it easier for me to do stuff at home. It's just more of your free time and when we have frees we come up here and that's really important that you do that. Uh, well, so far we've been learning about uh, the American West and uh, it's not all about the American West so it's about politics and like how the countries move forward over time and then the other one We've been doing War of the Roses. Well, basically, the uh, the American one is uh, like a, it's quite a broad hundred year span. So like you're not looking in too much detail, but like you're covering a lot of information. Whereas in the uh, Mr. Knotts one, it's like a short fifty year bracket. So we're looking at it in like a lot more detail. So you need to be able to like, look into the facts a lot more. They, they just need to be prepared at the start of the year. Like have your folder and everything get everything like sort of ready because like they won't slow down for you like you need to be able to keep up with it yourself and be prepared.